Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this week uh, I'm going to be reviewing Turn by Peter Pelican. Uh, before I do this, you have to watch this. So it's a bit of a weird trick because you did blank cards. Okay. And uh, obviously when they come out of the factory, they are kind of blank. Okay, and then you've got to print the back, right? So then you have the full card print on the back. But then you've got to put the, the actual value of the card on, right? So we've got the, the queens. And then sometimes you get red back cards, alright? <laughs> and, then, and then obviously you get a couple of jokers, or you could have four jokers. Like that. But actually, just to make it a bit more impressive, we've got four different bats there. <laughs> now, I love Peter Pelican stuff. First of all, I love packet tricks, so this is a bit biased. I really do like, I've always loved it, and it, can, it goes back to when I first learned magic. And when I was a lay person, I was a juggler, but I hadn't seen much magic. Um, I ran a juggling and magic shop for a friend in, in Australia when I was out there for a few months when I was like 19, 18, 19. And I was playing with stuff and there were a few packet tricks in there. There's one called Done With Mirrors that was like, you know, had like mirrored backs and all that. And I just, as a sort of lay person at the time, I, that had a really strong effect on me. You know, you only looked like you had four cars and there was all this stuff happening. And I think that we do forget that with packet tricks sometimes. Uh, I, I love them. I think they're great. Um, so uh, I, I'm a bit of a sort of, you know, this is kind of made for me, this trick, really. I, I also like, um, you know, the the fractal stuff, the John Bannum stuff. You know, again, I think, it's, I think it can be really powerful in the certain same situations. So the effect is, is this sort of, the cards changing, you, you look like you've got four cards, you've got four cards, and they change again and again and again, and they turn into other cards, and then at the end you've got this multicolored back thing. So it's, no, it's nothing hugely hugely original in this but there is something be better in this than i originally saw that makes literally no sense does it so when i first got this i thought i went oh, okay i've seen that a lot of times before but then i showed some people this and i showed a couple of magicians this and they were like well, that looks really good and i was like what is it and i think they were just saying well you know you're getting all those changes with four cards you know and you and then when i took it and showed a couple of lay people the reactions were you get the reaction on the first change, then the second change, and they're sort of they're sort of doing this like what? And it, it's it's a bit trippy. And it's again, it, if you've watched any of Peter Bellican stuff, it's all a bit trippy, which is why it's great. Um, so so the effect wise, I think you know you've got this this kind of Elmsley kind of thing going on, you know, which we've seen a lot before if you're a card person. Um, but it is stronger than I thought, and since I've got the confidence with that. I'm actually really enjoying it. It was the sort of thing I thought, well, I'm never going to take that out and do, but actually it, it sort of makes people laugh. People start sort of laughing when they start changing and changing and changing and they're not expecting that finish. So effect-wise, we're all good. Um, other good things about this are... Uh, that's it. <laughs> it's, it's a good effect. I was trying to think of something else that I'd written down there. I was like, no, I haven't. It's just a really good effect. There's not a lot else you can say about it. Um, Challenges with this. Now there are some challenges with the trick. This is this is slighty, but it's only a slighty. I know I've got a bit of a list, but sometimes it sounds like I said flighty uh, with an F for for Freddie. I have to say that as well. So because you'll think I've said S anyway. Uh, it is a bit slighty. I mean, you've got to do a, a false count with this. Now it's similar to a kind of Elmsley thing, but I think a little bit more difficult than an Elmsley uh, and it's this four I think it's called a four to one count or four for four count you'll have to excuse me I haven't done that bit of research but uh, it is a trick that I first came across in card college with this a similar trick using just four kings um, and it is something you are going to have to work on if you if you're not adept with cards if you're not confident if you haven't done loads of Elmsley stuff you're going to have to spend some time making this convincing but a little word of advice all right when you're learning this count you will be trying if you're anything like me you'll try and get it really smooth and the, the, the rhythm is perfect and all that and then i think actually if i was genuinely counting the four cards it wouldn't necessarily be a perfect rhythm i'd sort of go one two and i'd sort of pause for a second the split second you know what i mean so and that actually made it easier for me so if you're worried about this count it does feel cheeky it does feel very bold and you are repeating it which is another weakness to the trick i think you know you're repeating 
account again and again and again. And the magician in me goes, oh, I'm not going to get away with it because on the third one they're going to see. And actually they're not because what's starting to happen is when they change, they're starting to focus on the changes and not on the counts. So just a word of advice, if you're worried like I was, I was like, I'm never going to get away with this. It, it completely flies. And you have to, the, the way you reset it is certainly not an instant reset. Uh, and it's going to, to take you a few goes to sort of get get used to how the cards go together. And there is a kind of logic to it if you do it, but I won't go into that. So there it is, Turn by Peter Pelican. Check out all his stuff if you're into your kind of um, nuts card stuff, because it is really, really, really good fun and a nice challenge as well. Um, it is, I think it's about 18 quid. Is it worth 18 quid? I mean, it is a packet trick. If you love your packet tricks, it's worth what it is. You know, it's, it's, it's limited, it's one effect. Um, but I, I, I would, you know, pay for that because I love them so and as I did pay for the fractal tricks about the same price so um so uh I think that's it oh no it isn't please have a look at card magic course yeah whatever Steve you bang on about that all the time but do because you know I ain't getting paid for this <laughs> this is it's just nice that you that you have a look at that um because it took an awful lot of luck thank you for vanishing ink uh, for letting me do what I want and sharing this and um and have a great day and like and subscribe please as well and sh if you share this i'll love you forever um so if you share this you like it and you think other people would you know put a little thing on facebook saying hey i'll watch this review show um have a look at it and um, that would be lovely all right have a good one take care